Hello, people and bots. Grandpa Ganuck here. We're back in Stationaires for another tutorial. This is about uh, remote control of your satellite for trade. So, see that ladder there? Way up there. That's where my medium satellite dish is. And my trade sector is out there. Hmm. So, if you want to be able to conveniently take off your helmet and not have to run out there to that satellite dish all the time, and you want to control it because you have your trade computer, and it's much handier having this all inside your base where your vending machine is because you don't know what that trade is going to want, but you might know by his name what he wants. And then you can guess what you want to put in the vending machine before you even go outside. So, how do we do this? Well, we've moved the computer inside and we have a bunch of controls. We have displays. So we are displaying whether our satellite is on or off. Our landing pad is on or off. The horizontal and vertical positions of our satellite and the power level of our satellite. So watch, as they say, behind the curtain. Okay, we have a series of logic chips. Now every display needs two logic chips, a reader and a writer. What you're doing is you're reading the item you want. Oh no, I have to run off and have a drink. Ah, interrupting our tutorials. Oh my goodness. I shoot all my tutorials in uh, actual game mode. That way you can see if everything goes normal and proper, no edits. So back to the tutorial. So this is set to read the medium satellite and, of course, its setting. And that, of course, then is going to be read by the logic writer. And we're going to output to the LED display sat power level. And we're outputting the setting. 500 watts. Woohoo! On on switch. Okay, how do we make an on switch work? Well, let's an on switch. So here we have a logic reader and a logic writer. Here we have the switch. Now we know from the light whether it's on or off and we can hit the switch to change that. So when we hit the switch, the reader will, well, that's a landing pad, okay. Uh, the reader will read, in this case, whether the power is on and off, The logic writer will read the, the, the power and on to off. Now, all these other things. We're setting the horizontal and setting the vertical. The vertical is nice and easy. The vertical has a button. The button is set 0 to 90. And all we do is, um, so 
Well, these are all the verticals. <laughs> all we do is read the button and send it to the satellite. Plain and simple. The vertical is the same from 0 to 360, but what if you want to go over 360 and bring it back to 0? Hmm. In that case, you need something special. We're going to do a comparison. We're going to see if the button is turned higher than 360. So the button could actually go up to 370. It's 359. Might happen we turned it on. So it's going to swing it around. And the button is actually set so that it can go over 360 to 370. Doesn't matter, could be just one or two over. I just did a few extra in case. So we compare, and if it is over 360, we are going to write, we're gonna take this 360 less, And we're going to write to it if this if this comes on it tests positive we're going to write to it a zero so we're going to reset the button to zero it works that easy and that's it we can go round and round and round all we want and we can also do the reverse the same process you compare the button if the button is equal to zero then you would write 360 to the button actually I would I would write 359 because the 360 may set it uh, it has to be over 360 right if it's greater than 360 it can stay at 360 but if it goes over 360 then you revert back to the zero if it goes to zero then you revert back to the 360 so you can go back and forth over the 360 marker that's important otherwise you have to spin it all the way around if you spin this quickly and you go more than 180 degrees from where the satellite is, it will start to spin the other the other way. So here we are at 16. If we increase this really, really fast above 195, it would actually go down past the 360 by itself through zero because that's the way the satellite AI is set to go. So for large movements, you may see that. And that's it. I could call in my uh, trader and see what he's doing. Uh, this particular trader I have traded with already. I could get him to land, see what he wants, and trade. So remote satellite control using logic trip chips. The displays take a read and write. You read from the satellite, you write to the display. Plain and simple. The dial. You read the dial and you write it to the satellite. 0 to 90 is easy. 0 to 360 is easy. If it goes over 360, 
you need to compare to a constant which is 360 and if it's greater than 360 you have to write to it and uh, reverse it back down the 360. If it's equal to zero you need to change it to the 360. So you have another memory with a zero, another compare, okay, seeing if it's equal to zero, and if it is, then it flicks on a write unit, which will send a write signal to the satellite to make it a zero. The on-off is very straightforward. Is the power on or off? If the, and you switch. And the switch sends a right. Okay. So I read the, uh, the landing power. My output is the LED display here. Well, that's the LED display. Sorry. Uh, the control, the controls for the switch, uh, for on and off, you simply uh, can write it back out when you when you turn it off. That simple. Okay, that's it. So Grandpa Canuck wishes that you will subscribe. If you like the tutorial, hit like. If there's a comment, please leave it. A question, please leave it, and I'll gladly get back to you. So until next time, with another tutorial, this is Grandpa Canuck signing off. All you people and bots, be good to one another. Bye-bye.